In today's video, we're turning me into a zombie and I will use Photoshop to turn myself into literally a dead man. And I will show you some tips and tricks along the way. Let's go. So guys, uh, I import my photo first. After I import my photo, I need to cut out the subject. I use magic Montour to select subjects. Perfect. I mask it off make it a little bigger then i have a different kind of then i have a different kind of textures that i will use on my face to turn myself into a zombie i will put behind me this subject and make it a little bigger then i import the skeleton that i want to use then again select the subject make a mask turn the opacity a little down and fit it on my face I will use the nose of it and the eye. After doing that, I will turn out the opacity, open the blending options, double click and make it like this. And I will erase some part of it. Let's see. Make it a little bigger and use the warp. It's great. I can put it on luminosity to just show the luminance of it and erase this part of my photo you see put it on black and white erase it perfect i can use the curves and or levels and give it a little contrast and i will erase my nose after that, I need to make a new layer to make it a little dark. Then I will use my textures on it. The first texture that we have, make it smaller and use the warp. Then I can use the blending mode blend it and make a mess <clears throat> then I can use the levels to match it better a little just good then I will use another texture as you wish in here this will be good I think Again, use the warp. To match it on my face. It's better. And the same process that we have. The blending mode. And match the levels and colors of it just a little bit and make a mess and erase it it's better i think yeah, it's better after that i will use another texture let me see guys I changed the background I will think it suit it better to the mood of our photo and I will use this texture on my face make it smaller Again, use the blending mode. Use the warp option to match it on my face as you wish. Here, here, and here. Let me erase the part that I don't want and make it match better
and erase the part that I don't want it like here just a little better let me see yes it's a lot better then I can use again the skull let me erase this part move it up here and make it normal again use the, this part erase it I want the, just this part of the photo select inverse raise it off and here you are Let's me again raise it and again i will erase my ear and my hair from here great 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 and i will change the color of the skull control l make it bluish great 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 i think these parts need a little texture let me copy copy this make it smaller okay and use it in here let me erase the part that i don't want Then I want to use the curves to pop it a little better. Let me see. Invert it. Make the opacity higher. And use it. I think it's good. It's not perfect, but I think we can use it. Again, Control L. Make it match a little better. Raise this part. Press OK. I will make a group of my photo add a curve to it make it a little bluish and add highlights to it let's see i will make a white brush make highlights match it to the scene and put it on the screen and use a little the blending options again make a new layer and have a big brush and try to make a subtle touches of it to make it a little better yes let me do yeah it's better make it bigger 
put it on the screen mode. Control I. Pick your brush. And just touch a little on your screen to add this cool particles or photo to blend it better together you see it's perfect now i can use the irish blur make it bigger and blur it a little bit like this press ok and it's time to use the camera raw filter to give it a little spice uh, I will turn off my contrast turn the tint and the whites the shadows highlights give it a clarity and texture turn down the vibrance a little bit you can sharpen your photo and the color grading in the shadows i can give it a bluish tone and here make it yellow and the highlights a little like this it's perfect you can give it a little vignette vignette and a grain to match it together that's it for the today's video if you enjoy this video feel free to subscribe to our channel and i will have a different kind of tutorials about the halloween and different kind of things hope you enjoy it goodbye